How are we all doing? All right, right. Yeah, we're all right. Not allowed to. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to crack on with it. Um, this is about my relationship with music. Uh, when I was growing up in the 80s, um, I was really into bands like the Pet Shop Boys and Erasure and Bronski Beat. And uh, my dad didn't like that. He didn't like that at all. So he, uh, he kind of forced me to listen to punk rock until I liked it. So this is uh, kind of about that. It's called Whatever Happened to Heroes. In 77, the Stranglers asked whatever happened to the heroes round about the same year, Robert De Niro was asking. Talking to me. Then punk kicked off and the attitude reflected the disaffected, the rejected, the disrespected, who wanted the freedom to choose to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And when that freedom of choice found its voice, you couldn't ignore it. But then rebellion became a target market. Fast forward to today, whatever happened to the heroes? Johnny Rotten seems to have forgotten he was once a clown prince of punk and since he sunk in my estimation right to the gutter. Now what better to do than advertising butter? Never mind the bollocks, whatever happened to the heroes? Well, Joe Strummer's dead, Tony Wilson's dead, Joey Damone's dead, Kurt Vonnegut's dead, so it goes. There's no more heroes except a punkin' attitude only standing lonely, Leonard Cohen still going, but who replaced him that won't sink but swim for me? The outlook's looking grim. Now I've got my own mind... I don't need anyone to follow, but I'd like a John Lydon, and I'm just stuck with Bono. Cheers. <laughs>